Today, we're gonna to give you a Helium 10 product research masterclass. Let's get into it. All right, so let's dive right into it, cut the fluff and talk about Helium 10 and how it can help you become a better Amazon FBA seller. So as you know, product research will make or break your FBA business. I've said it a hundred times and it's true. If you pick a losing product, you will lose tens of thousands of dollars. But on the flip side, if you pick a winning product, you will crush it. So how can Helium 10 help you find a winning product? Everybody talks about softwares and this and that and the other, but if you don't know how to actually use it, then it's useless. So today I want to give you guys a complete masterclass. I've been using Helium 10 since 2018. I've been selling on Amazon since 2017 and I've launched over 75 products. So today I'm going to show you guys some strategies on how you can find a winning product and launch it this year and turn your life around. Amazon has changed my life and I know it can change yours too. So let's come over here and let's dive into my screen and talk about the tools that you can use inside of Helium 10 to help you find a product. I'll put the link down below where you can get 20% off for six months. This is an insane deal, so you can click the link down below. And let's first talk about the tool called Black Box. So Black Box is Helium 10's main product research tool, so we'll click on it, and inside are tons of features that are going to allow you to find that perfect winning product. I like to compare Black Box to my needle in the haystack finder. And what I mean by this is there are 30 plus million million products on Amazon and for you to go through and sift through every single one to find that perfect product it's virtually impossible so what black box allows you to do is go in and enter in certain filters and criterias to whittle that down from millions of products down to a couple products that have potential so we've got the products tab which will cover the keywords tab the niche tab which we'll dive into first and i want to show you guys another cool feature with helium 10 is their chrome extension so you literally click a button and it pulls up this data table that breaks down every single metric that you would need to know to decide whether or not a product has potential or not. Now, these numbers and what I just showed you might sound super confusing. It might be a little overwhelming. Don't worry, I'm gonna dumb it down. I'm gonna break it down step by step for you guys. And the first thing that we wanna do is generate and find that product idea to then verify it and see if it actually has potential or not. So we're gonna come to the niche tab. And what I like about this tool is it's really overlooked and not a lot of people talk about it. And for me is if I can find a product that I'm interested in or I'm passionate about or I understand why well, I have an upper edge because I understand the market better than the average person. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to enter in a phrase of something that I'm interested in. So let's just say sports. We've got basketball, soccer, uh, football, tennis, swimming, um, pickleball, like you name it, you just type in the phrase. Or if you're interested in instruments, you've got guitar, piano, drums, trumpet, violin, you type it in. Or let's say you're interested in cooking or baking or yeah, making food. And let's actually just use that phrase of, let's say cooking. So I'm gonna type in cooking. From there, you're gonna to go to the next filter, which is the monthly revenue. Say, I wanna find products that are doing at least 7K in revenue. And then you can come to price. I want products that are no cheaper than $20. Review count, I don't want to be competing against products that have thousands of reviews. So I'm just going to say, um, I'm gonna put 700 is kind of my maximum review count. And then the next one is review rating. And this is super powerful because if you can find a product that has bad reviews, we well, can read the reviews and figure out what they're doing wrong. And then you can come to market with the solution to what your competitor is doing wrong. So I'm gonna say the average uh, review rating is 4.6. And then as you saw the advanced filters, there's tons of advanced filters that you could go in and kind of adjust. You could select the category, the shipping size, uh, the number of images, so finding that weak link. Um, but we're just going to do those basic filters and we're gonna hit search. And from there, Helium 10 is going to find a whopping four products. Four products that fits my filter, my, my criteria. And you're probably thinking, well, four products isn't gonna do anything, but that's just the process to go through and we still need to check if these products have potential or not. So we're going to look at this bamboo cook stand. Um, as you can see, it sells for 22 bucks. They're doing 19 grand a month and they have 144 reviews and they have a 4.3 star rating. So just like that, we found a product that has very low reviews, has bad reviews, and it's something that we could go in and sell. So that is a product idea right there. We've got this Japanese cookware pan, um, rectangle frying pan. Um, it looks kind of interesting. Like it looks like it's like a, a kit, um, a Japanese cookware set. Um, so that could be interesting. We've got a silicone utensil set. Um, this one 
Um, it looks a little bit more generic, but like this product is catching my attention and so is this product. So just like that, we found two potential products. Um, let's just say um, instead of cooking, let's go to baking and we'll type in uh, that and then we just hit search. And then just like that, it's gonna show me another list of seven products. So we're going to scroll through and we're gonna do that same exact process. So go in and type in products or, or phrases or things that you're interested in right here. And then you can scroll through and find a product that is something that you are passionate about. Now, if you don't find one, that's okay. I'm gonna show you guys additional strategies, which is going to lead to the next tab, which is the keywords tab. And this tab is so powerful, it's insane. And basically what this is gonna do is it's going to, again, do exactly what we just did, but instead of narrowing it down to a specific niche or a specific phrase, we're going to narrow it down to a specific category. So we're gonna come and we're going to come to the first filter, which is search volume. And we wanna find a search term that is being searched over 3000 searches. We want the monthly revenue of at least, we'll say even $10,000 on this one. And then we want the price, we'll say 20, we'll say review count, we'll even lower it and we'll go down to 400. We'll go to the review rating, we'll say 4.5. Then we'll come over here to the category and this is where you want to select a category again that maybe you're familiar with and most importantly, a category that isn't restricted. So there are certain categories that are a little bit more difficult to sell in than others. So like electronics, baby products, things like that, I try to avoid. So let's say I'm interested in sports. So I'm gonna come over here to the sports and outdoors. And then from there, I'm just gonna hit search and it's going to pull up a list of 181 phrases that fit my criteria. So as we scroll through, we've got a bunch of products. We've got snowboard bindings, ski harness, um, we've got a Pilates reformer machine, which I'm not even really sure what it is. We've got a bubble tent, that's kind of cool. Um, we've got a road bike, we got a fishing tent, an air up bottle, I'm not sure what that is. I'll click on this, view this in Amazon. Um, it looks like it's just like, Honestly, I don't even know what this is, but who knows? It could have potential and they have terrible reviews. Like these sellers have terrible reviews. So there could be a product right there. Um, leg extension and curl machine. Um, we've got a sight mark. And again, this is the process. You just scroll through until you find something. Like there are 10 pages that you can just continue to scroll and scroll until you find something that you come across that you're like, huh, a scoreboard. Well, I know what a scoreboard is and how could I sell a scoreboard well it looks like this guy has terrible reviews and he's selling a hundred plus per month and he's selling it for 60 bucks well just like that I got an idea of something that I could sell on Amazon and I I'm passionate about sports I like sports I understand all sports and so this is a great product so right there I found another one so that is using the helium 10 keywords tab now let's come to the products tab. It's basically the same thing, but instead of finding a keyword, it's going to find a specific product. So we'll come over here to the category and let's say I'm interested in, um, let's just go to kitchen and dining. And we'll come over here to the review count. We'll just say 500. We'll say the review rating. We'll say really crappy and we'll say 4.2. Um, then we'll come over here to the price. We'll say 20 and then we'll say the maximum of $200. Um, the monthly revenue, we'll say we want it doing at least $8,000. And then we'll come over here and hit search. And just like this, it's going to pull up a list of products that fit the criteria. Again, it's the needle in the haystack finder. We've got 500 items. Now that's probably too much for me to go through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to edit my filters and narrow it down a little bit more. Um, but I'll just scroll for you guys and show you that they're literally the most random products. We've got this bamboo serving tray. Um, we've got these bags, these reusable bags. We've got the floor mat. We've got a water bottle. So I'm just going to scroll through and see if there's anything that catches my attention. So as I'm scrolling, I'm seeing these linen cloth napkins that have 4.2 stars, sell them for 45 bucks. And they are doing um, 14 grand a month of linen like napkins that's crazy and then we've got some linen like actual tablecloths as well so maybe i could sell kind of a bundle kit of linen tablecloths and linen napkins well there's another idea as i just scrolled and we are on page two 
So I could scroll through and go to page three and do the same exact thing. And literally you could scroll and scroll and scroll until you find that perfect opportunity. So now that I kind of showed you how to use Helium 10 to kind of generate the ideas, I want to show you guys one more strategy on how to find the product. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to actually verify the product. So let's just say I am interested in selling um, this kid's clothing rack. Okay, so I come here, I search for the keyword, then I come up to the Chrome extension, and then I click on this. And what it does is it pulls this data chart that I showed you guys of literally everything that you would need to know. Now, it looks more complicated than it actually is, but it just kind of shows the product details, the ASIN, so this is at, like what um, identifies the product. We've got the brand, the price, the sales, the sales graph, the revenue, and basically everything, like the list goes on. But for this particular strategy on finding a product is you're going to go to a product doesn't matter the product. It could be something that you're interested in. It could be something completely random. And you're going to click on a seller that is doing well. So like this seller is doing 27K per month with this small clothing rack. And I'm like, well, if they're doing something, I mean, if they're doing 27K selling this product, well, they're doing something right. So I want to learn from this seller. So I'm going to click on this listing and I'm going to come over here to the sold by. And this is who it's sold by. This is the actual seller and you can actually click on their storefront. And what this does is you figure out what products this seller is selling. If they have one successful product, well, more than likely they have a second, third, fourth, fifth, 20th successful product. And you can see that they've got some other kind of other products in the, the rack space. We've got this three tier vintage display shelf that they just launched, it has eight reviews and they did 50 plus units last month. So right there, this little wall hanging shadow box, like this is a product that I could go in and sell right now. Like I like they have eight reviews and they're, they're doing 50 plus per month. And this is kind of an ugly color. So I could improve the color. I could make it not so red like or like, like that color is just not the best. And so you could improve it. You can modernize it. Um, if you scroll down, we've got these these pots. Uh, again, these windowsill plant stand, uh, again, fairly low reviews. We've got this two-step desktop uh, storage organizer. So here's another one and they have very few reviews. So that's another strategy that you can do is use, again, the Chrome extension to find a seller that's doing well, and then you can stock their storefront. So I just showed you guys four easy ways to find products using Helium 10. And there's no reason that you shouldn't be able to find a product. Like it's just putting in the reps and going through the process. So now that we understand how to find the product, let's show you how to actually verifying it again using Helium 10. So it's one thing to find a product that has potential opportunity, but it's another to actually verify it. So right here, I'm going to verify this product kids clothing rack. And right here at the very top, they have a full summary report where you can literally see everything broken down, basically a little bit more simple than the Chrome extension. So you can see the 30 day revenue. So like this, these sellers, like 4.2 million, like the average seller is doing 88,000. Like all you need to do is take a small percentage of that and you've got a five figure per month business. Um, the 30 day units sold, average price, this is a good price point, average rating 4.4, that's not very good. Like 4.4 stars, that means there's room for improvement. You can see all the competition right here um, and it kind of breaks it down. So that's just kind of a, a good report um, to kind of look at, get you familiar with. And then right here, the search volume. This is super important to understand the demand of this particular product. The search volume is super important. And for those that don't understand why it's important, like when you go to Google, you type in something specific and then Google will show you what is relevant or what is related to whatever you're searching. Same thing on Amazon. People, they go in and they search kids clothing rack. It's being searched over 3000 times. People are searching for that specific keyword. And if you have that product and you can display your product when somebody searches that keyword, well, more than likely that customer, their buying intent is super, super high. If you can display your product and they click on it and they buy it, well, that's where you make the money. So keyword search volume is super, super important. So the search volume is super good. And with Helium 10, I love the ability to go in and look at the historical data. So you can see that this keyword is trending upward, which is fantastic. This kid's clothing rack, 
more and more people are searching for it every single um, day um, over the last couple years. And as we saw, sellers are crushing it. Like this seller, 400 plus bought last month and they're selling it for 44 bucks. Um, this one, terrible reviews, 4.2 stars, um, 50 plus bought last month and they're selling it for $90. So that is something that I'm like, hey, there is potential. Like I'm looking at this, these top sellers right here, they don't have very many reviews. Like this seller has no reviews. Um, this seller has 700, doesn't scare me. This one has 47, this one has 214, this one has 35, this one has 300, this one only has 39. So you can see that there's not much competition when it comes to this particular keyword. So the last step is going to be using a tool called Helium 10 Cerebro. So I'm gonna come back to the Chrome extension, I'm gonna pull up X-Ray, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select my main competitor. I'm gonna click on this little checkbox, I'm gonna hit Run Cerebro. And what this is doing is it's doing a reverse ASIN lookup. Basically what that means is we are finding where this seller is ranking on page one for X amount of keywords. So right here, I pull up Cerebro. You can see the filters, it's similar to Blackbox, but it's a little bit different and I'll show you guys. And there are 1700 keywords. Now, I don't wanna go through all 1700, so I'm gonna to come to the filters and I'm gonna to go to the organic rank. And this is where the magic happens, is I want to find where this seller is organically ranking in position one to 20. Or in other words, where is this seller ranking on page one? I don't want to find the keywords where he's at on page two, three, four, five, and six. I want page one. I'm gonna hit apply filters, and that's going to whittle it down from 1700 keywords down to 172 keywords. So that's a lot better. And as you can see, we've got several keywords that describe my product. We've got a kid's costume rack. It's got 723 search volume. We've got kid's clothing rack. That's got good search. We got kid's clothes rack. It's got good search volume of 1200. I can actually sort this search volume from largest to smallest. And you can see that we've got a kid's dress up rack. It's got 1700 search. We've got baby clothes rack has got 1700. Like we've got several keywords that are being searched a thousand, two thousand, three thousand times. And the goal is to find multiple keywords that add up to over 10,000 plus searches per month. And if we can do that, then that means that this product has enough demand for us to enter into that market. So the first part was us analyzing the reviews, looking at the competition, seeing how competitors had bad reviews, not very many reviews. And now we're validating it by looking at the keyword search volume and seeing that there is a lot of keywords that describe this product and a lot of search volume to back it. And then the next thing that I'll look at is this CPR number. And this CPR number is important because it's gonna show you how many units you would have to sell over an eight day window in order to rank for page one. So 32 units over eight days, that's only four units per day. So it's not going to be very difficult in order to rank your product to page one. So this is going to show you how many units you need to sell in order to rank and actually make it to page one. Again, four units is not very much, so the competition isn't super brutal. And that is a super important metric to look at in addition to the reviews, the ratings, the search volume, that CPR number, and just like that, we have a product that we could go out and sell on Amazon. Now, I do want to give you guys a warning, do not go and sell this product and the reason being is I guarantee, even though I say this, there's probably gonna be 10, 20, 30 people going and selling this exact product and I don't want you guys to go in and compete against each other. So I just taught you how to fish for yourself. This was a complete A to Z masterclass using Helium 10 to find a product, to validate the product, to then additionally validate it with Cerebro. So go through the entire process, get Helium 10, the link will be down below, 20% off for six months. And if you guys need additional help, I do have a mentorship program where we actually hand pick you a winning product. I've been doing this for seven years and I've launched over 75 products. So if you guys need help, then I would love to help you find a winning product. But for those that wanna go do it themselves, I just gave you guys a complete masterclass. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, like the video, subscribe, drop a comment, and we will see you in the next one.